Well, at this time I have a Rough Country two and a half inch level lift kit on this truck. It's a 2010 Chevy Silverado. I'll give you a short view of the truck and walk around. It's kind of cold and snowy out here. The tire size is my standard tires, which is P265-65R18s. I'm uh, probably going to go to 20-inch wheels with a 33-inch tire, but I'll have to figure that out yet. I am in the process of going to, I have a two inch lift on the back and I'm going to go to a three inch lift with blocks. I'm going to do that today. And we'll see what it looks like after uh, I get the three inch block in the back. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. Thank you. Well, I have it uh, jacked up with jack stands, both sides, as you can see. And I'm getting ready to take the shocks off, which are, according to mine, is 13 sixteenths. Then I have to take these bolts off here on the plate. And then I have to show you the block that I'm taking out, if you can see it, which is right there. We'll replace that two inch block with a three inch block. Stay tuned. We now have the shock bolt loose. As you can see, it's on the floor. The next thing we'll do is get the bolts loose from the C clamps. Okay, now we have the bottom bracket off with the bolts and there's the clamps I am going to take off and they just pull right off and slide off like that. Like I said, these are my Rough Country 2 inch, which I'm changing to a 3 inch, so it's pretty easy to come out. And there is the clamps land there. Okay, hold on. Stay tuned. Okay, be sure you take this wire and take something to pry it loose from here, which will give you more room for this plug and be more, more room to drop the axle. Okay, as you can see, I've lowered the axle down where I can pull this uh, two inch block out now. And I'll be waiting for the three inch block. As everyone else has said, as you can see, this block is wedged. On the right side, it's lower than the left. You always want to put the smaller end wedged in toward the front of the truck, the higher end to the rear. Okay, here we have the difference between the two inch and the three inch block. Um, the arrows I marked on are pointing the direction toward the front of the truck. As you can see, these blocks do have a slight, if you can see it there, a slight degree difference going down. And again, there's a difference between the two and the three inch block, which really looks pretty huge. And here's the 
longer sea boats uh, compared to the shorter ones. Uh, these are for the three inch blocks. These are for the two inch blocks. And you have to remember that they have a, in, a top thing here that you put inside that goes in the spring to be connected and you have a bottom one on your axle that goes in the hole. So we're going to get busy and try to get this thing together. And here's part of the uh, box from the rough country that I had bought. Okay, well, we're going to stick this three inch block in here. And as I said before, this piece this sticks out on the bottom will go on the bottom on the axle. Okay, it's in that groove. And then you have to line up the top, as you can see right there, into the top of the hole that goes in there. And we'll get that done here in a minute. Okay, the block's in. I'm going to put the the uh, C bolts in now. And they go in a groove right over the top. And they come down right through there. And they got two little grooves. They set in one here and one there. And then you come down and you're ready to put the plate on on the bottom, which is here. Okay, now we put these this plate on with these screws. You screw them up. And you put all four of them on. When you get ready to, to put them on, you... Do this one, that one, that one, and this one. Crisscross them as you tighten them up. You have this on with the bolts, and now we're putting in the shock on the bottom of the bolt of that. And then uh, I put that wire back in the top, which goes up there. And be sure to torque and tighten everything down when you're done. Yep. Put your hand on top and pull it up from the top. And get the other one. Going. Always make sure your threads go on straight when you put them on. Okay, grab your ratchet and your socket. And what you do is you do it the same way you took them off, you crisscross it. We're now hooking up the shock next to the last thing to do and then you have to make sure all your bolts are tight. Take it out, drive it, come back and re-tighten the bolts. Do it again after about a thousand miles. Get level with it. Okay, this is the, after the three inch block lift.
Yes, this is done with a two and a half inch lift in the front and a three inch in the back, which is rough country. We're gonna take it down the highway and see how it does.